Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded. This um, weeks have been kind of crazy. But anyways, I wanted to share this video that I made and it is introducing some mail art. Now I've actually done mail art um, way before I knew that it was a thing. Um, these are a couple of envelopes that I used to draw on while me and my husband were getting to know each other. Um, we went kind of traditional and we decided to write letters. Um, we would talk on the phone too and text, but we wanted to um, have this relationship where we wrote letters and wrote down what we really felt and what w was in our minds. And so I thought it was a neat way to, um, you know, um, embellish the envelopes. So I went ahead and um, did that before I even knew mail art was a thing. So anyways, I'm working with these envelope and liner templates that I found at Hobby Lobby for $4.99 each. Um, this is an A7 size envelope. And I just kind of roughly did an example there with very loose paper. And the one I'm actually going to be using for this video is going to be the standard A2 size envelope. So um, I just thought I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that there is a We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch maker and it is great. Um, I've seen it in several videos and I thought it was really great. Um, however, I think because I am um, measurement challenge, I think it would be harder for me to use. And so as I was um, actually walking by the aisles at Hobby Lobby one day, I found these, I actually bought these like a couple months ago, like maybe two or three months ago, and I just had them sitting there um, and waiting for the right time to use them. And so I saw these and I thought it was pretty cool because it has the envelope template for you to trace, but it also has in the um, middle of the template, it actually has the little squares where you um, can write to uh, address the envelope and so that you're in a, writing in a straight line. And I know that there is one, I forget the brand that it is, but I know that, um, um, I think it's uh, Christina Warner. She, when she does her mail art, she uses it um, sometimes. And so I am in no way um, saying that I m like am the guru of mail art. I'm not. This is actually my first time doing mail art with stamping and watercoloring. Um, when I did them, it was kind of just drawing little doodling around the envelopes and doing kind of some Bible verses to go with it. And I would use actually some chalk, um, those little art chalks, and, um, and to seal it off, I would use hairspray. So it wasn't anything fancy. I didn't know that I, you know, I'm I'm new to the whole stamping and to watercoloring and using all these different mediums to make art. Um, I don't know, I guess I was living under a rock and only knew how to use acrylic paints. And so towards the end of last year, I was open to this whole new world of art. But anyways, so I all I did right here is I traced the template onto some Strathmore 140 pound uh, watercolor paper. And then there the template does have these grooves where you can use your bone folder to uh, draw creases so you know where to fold. And so that's all I did. I cut out the template and this is what I have. And then I ran this hook looking Cricut tool, just the, the curve edge of it. And I used that to cause a crease along the center part so I know where to fold. Now the, um, the product actually comes with a template so it shows you what needs to be folded to create the envelope and it comes with a liner so in case you wanted to add some pattern paper on the inside you would trace that on the pattern paper and glue that towards the inside so you have a different color on the inside of the envelope. Now I'm not doing that today but I am showing you that I'm just creasing the um, all these uh, sides of the envelope so that it just folds a little bit easier. Now I don't have a bone folder and they're kind of expensive. Um, even $10 or $20 or $30 is expensive for me. So I just kind of use what I have. So anyways, now that I have everything that I need, I'm adding some washing tape onto my stamping platform. And I don't, I'm using washing tape because I don't want the um, 
watercolor paper to be moving around as I'm trying to stamp. I just have bad luck when I'm ever trying to stamp. I have bad luck. Like, I end up smearing everything. So, um, I just decided to be safer than sorry and do a lot of hard work and then have it amount to nothing. So, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp, um, even more spring flower stamp set. And this stamp set was actually given to me um, along with two other stamps from the um, from Simon Says stamp and I was so grateful that they sent me these and they actually sent me these um, a couple months ago I think maybe towards May maybe April and I just had them to the side and haven't had the time to use them because I had other projects in mind and other card kits that I was doing so um, now that I had some downtime I thought I should play with them and um, so I decided to do, put them to good use and I actually like them because they're cute and they're um, a lot of space like to color in and I like images that you can color in that they're not so um, like fine detail that you can't really you know look at what you're I don't know if I'm making sense but some some images are just too small and you know you color them and you can't really tell the coloring but anyways um, so all I'm doing is I'm stamping flowers and really I use this um, mask to mask everything I just kind of like would tilt it or move it rotate it that's the word I'm looking for I would rotate it a certain way so that way when I would stamp another flower um, it wouldn't mess up the flower underneath and so on and so forth so that's what I did I only used two masks that first flower I did and then this um, leafy um, leaf thing <laughs> so anyways fast forward I did all that and so I'm using these two watercolor um, palettes that I actually won an Instagram giveaway. And for inspiration as a coloring for the envelope, I'm using one of the Moto Scrap uh, paper, uh, pattern paper that came in the Simon Says, I think it's June card kit that I really didn't use because the pattern paper, I'm saving it to make a mini album. But it, I really like the colors of that particular um air balloon so I'm using that as inspiration and the watercolor palettes that I'm using are the Prima um, let's see here Prima marketing ink and I have the pastel dreams palette and the tropicals uh, watercolor palette and I'm using both because I'm mixing some colors to give me the um, colors that I need to replicate the colors in the pattern paper and so I'm mixing just a bunch of colors and seeing what works. I kind of mix, pre-mix them to make sure that it was a color that I needed. And so that's what I'm working off of the droppings at the top of the palette there. And I'm just using water and using a lighter shade going into the darker and getting it into more um, darker shades um, around these flowers. So I decided to name these um, this video, and I'm actually going to start doing this more often, is I named this particular video the Frugal Crafting S Series, and um, it's just something that I decided that I wanted to do just because, um, as you all know, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I know many of you are that are, view my videos are probably in the same boat, or um, just looking for ways to... Um, you know have this hobby not be so expensive and so I wanted to share inexpensive products and ways to make a project without breaking the bank um, like I said that uh, we are memory keepers mail punch board uh, envelope punch board um, is I don't know I think I saw it around $30 maybe uh, you can probably get it a little bit cheaper um, in some other places, but you know, there's always taxes and everything. So I just thought, I mean, what can be $4.99? Um, you know, so, and it gives you the same result. And so I just decided to share that with you guys. And I want to do that with other stuff, not just the mail art stuff, but other stuff that I, that I'll stumble upon 
uh, as I'm at those craft stores or whatever, or um, stuff that I see that people use these very expensive materials, and I unfortunately uh, cannot, as much as I want to get these materials, I cannot afford it at the moment. Um, I may sometimes, you know, uh, splurge, but I can't do that all the time. And so if I can come up with ways, um, inexpensive ways, um, to kind of create this a similar project without breaking the bank, I want to share that with you guys. So that's why I called this the uh, Frugal Crafting Series, and so I guess this would be the first of many to come. And um, also, um, I may be getting ahead of myself because the video is still sharing what I'm doing in the envelope here, but um, I did not address it. I had planned to just address it to myself, really. Um, but then I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I want to be able to give it to somebody that wants it. So if this is, I mean, you don't have to want it or even um, comment on it. But if you are at all interested in wanting this envelope, um, I'll address it um, to you. And I'll uh, put some of that um, uh, Tim Holtz um, glaze on it so that the watercolor doesn't react to any water whatsoever. Um, so if you want me to mail this envelope to you and you're interested, uh, send me your full name and your address to my email address here on YouTube that I have. Um, I'll link it down below as well in the description area. And the first person to email me will receive the envelope um, because I don't have a lot of envelopes. This is the only envelope I made. So the first person to send me a, um, an email that they're interested in receiving this um, envelope, um, then um, you will receive it. So all I'm doing here is I'm just peeling off the washi tape, and uh, washi tape can be uh, some of some of it can be kind of um, really sticky. So I would be very careful. I was really being gent gentle in peeling off this washi tape because. You know, I didn't want it to peel off the paper here. So all I'm doing is folding those um, those sides. And you can do it where the inside, um, that big part, lays out side of the triangles or inside of the triangles. So either way would be okay. But I decided to have this, the big part right here, um, be overlapping the triangles of the sides. So I'm just adding some permanent adhesive to the sides and not adding it on the horizontal line of that flap because then it would be sticky on the inside and you don't want your card ruining by having glue on it. So I'm just um, putting pressure on those sides so I know that the, um, the sides and everything is um, adhered. So I hope this little tip of the um, envelope line and liner template uh, was useful and I hope you can recreate it. For still images and list of supplies, please head over to my blog at mommywithahobby.com and also don't forget to send me an email if you're interested in receiving this envelope. Remember the first person to email me will receive the envelope. And as always, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.